my bagger come in for the mower today and uh getting ready to put it on in this box right here we have the bagger see it right there royobi 42 inch zero turn oh it says zero tum 42 inch zero tum lawn mower soft top bagger wow never heard of a zero tum but whatever must be that uh china to english conversion <laughs> that's kind of funny though anyways i'm gonna try to get this bagger on here i haven't even opened it up yet just unloaded it from the jeep after i picked it up this morning i'm gonna go ahead and hook this up while the sun is in the sky and uh, get the charger on this so I'm charging it off of the van solar power as I have been doing I have no idea what tools I'm gonna need to install this I think I have to pull the deck off again to put the different mower blades on it Looks like we got a dummy manual. And the two new blades are just as thin as the other ones. Man. Let me show you something about these blades. This is kind of like new to me and I, I kind of only assume that it's because the electric motors can't have as much mass see that bending so these look like they are a probably higher lift blade which is what a bagger needs the blades that come on it i assume are kind of more like a just a straight blade or a mulching blade the other thing is too i thought you know i'll get some different blades but here's the problem see how this has on this side you have a moon shaped hole then your regular hole then an, then another smaller hole most blades either don't have this moon shaped hole and this smaller hole they, so they only got this one hole or they have two circles here instead of that moon shaped one and that moon shaped one is actually bigger then this one over here so if you bought one that had the two holes on the left and right and the big hole in the center it's still not going to work because this over here is bigger and there's a part that fits this so i only found one other blade on amazon looking through all the mower blades they have there that looked like it was even close but i was basically going to have to spend like 40 bucks to order it to get it in to find out and then i was kind of like eh i'll do the hammer and straighten it out method like the last ones but i do want to measure these because um 
in case I ever do have to come up with something. Worst case scenario is I'll go with a thicker blade and I'll grind that sucker off of the mounting flange because as long as it's got one, it'll work. <laughs> I just can't believe those blades are so thin and so light, but I'm sure it has to do with the wear and tear on that electric mo motor. Now, as far as the way that this hooks up, I pretty much think I already know. So this is probably gonna go like this. This is obviously going to go like this. I might have done something like this once or twice in my life. Usually they all fit about the same way. They got a little uh, bungee cord on here to keep this part here from flopping around. Then, probably going to do something like this and this. I'm kind of guessing goes like this. Now, here's going to be a, one that I'm not sure about. Is why is that so much uh, slides under? So the back handle slides under the bracket. So it looks like that this is probably going to go like this. So easy, even a caveman can do it, like me. Yeah, so apparently you're supposed to use this. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to stick that to there. Kind of pull it tight.
It's kind of cheesy, but I guess it's going to work. Not near as good as my other bagger. So then this, probably don't do me a bit of good to put this on yet because I gotta take the deck off. But then this will go through here. Probably something like that. And then this other piece will go on and attach the deck. So I gotta take the deck off. I'm not going to record that because I already did that in one other video. And uh, I'll probably just use the footage from it because it's pretty simple. Just got to remove some pins. Got to remove three pins, two wire connectors, and slide right out. All right, so anyways, I got the bagger on here and I just used the factory blades. And I've actually got it set pretty high because... I didn't want to blaze to hit anything. I've actually got it set at uh, four inches. Four inches tall. It don't look bad at four inches. I haven't mowed the whole yard yet, but I noticed that the bagger was full. I wasn't even sure if it was working. I was just trying to get the, the, uh, <laughs> it's overfilled actually. I was trying to get the mower, uh, trying to get the yard mowed before Father's Day tomorrow. And, I don't have a camera mount, but uh, if I raise this up, you can definitely see that we are clear full here. Something like that. So, uh, yeah, let me get these emptied. They basically just slide out, and then I'm going to dump them in one of my compost piles over there. I've got numerous compost piles. I don't have a camera mount, so you're not going to be able to see it. But I'll show you maybe the results afterwards.